You are son of God, son of Mary. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. You're the word that took our very flesh, the splendor of the Father. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sin, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. And we pray. O God, who found all the commandments of your sacred law upon love of you and love of neighbor, grant that by keeping your precepts, we may merit to attain eternal life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Ezra. At the time of the evening sacrifice, I, Ezra, rose in my wretchedness, and with cloak and mantle torn, I fell on my knees, stretching out my hands to the Lord my God. I said, my God, I am too ashamed and confounded to raise my face to you. O oh my God, for our wicked deeds are heaped up above our heads, and our guilt reaches up to heaven. From the time of our fathers, even to this day, great has been our guilt, and for our wicked deeds we have been delivered up, we and our kings and our priests, to the will of the kings of foreign lands, to the sword, to captivity, to pillage, and to disgrace, as is the case today. And now, but a short time ago, mercy came to us from the Lord our God, who has left us a remnant and gave us a stake in his holy place. Thus our God has brightened our eyes and given us relief in our servitude. For slaves we are, but in our servitude our God has not abandoned us. Rather, he has turned the goodwill of the kings of Persia toward us. Thus he has given us new life to raise again the house of our God and restore its ruins and has granted us a fence in Judah and Jerusalem. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our responsorial psalm, blessed be God who lives forever. Blessed be God who lives forever. He scourges and then has mercy. He casts down to the depths of the netherworld and he brings up from the great abyss. No one can escape his hand. Blessed, Blessed be God, who lives, lives forever. forever. Praise him, you children of Israel, before the Gentiles. For though he has scattered you among them, he has shown you his greatness even there. Blessed, Blessed be God, God lives So now consider what he has done for you, and praise him with full voice. Bless the Lord of righteousness, and exalt the King of ages. Blessed, Blessed be God, God who lives forever. In the land of my exile, I praise him and show his power and majesty to a sinful nation. Blessed be God who lives forever. Bless the Lord, all you his chosen ones, and may all of you praise his majesty. Celebrate days of gladness and give him praise. Blessed, Blessed be God who lives forever. May the Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus summoned the twelve and gave them power and authority over all demons and to cure diseases. He sent them out to proclaim the kingdom of God and to heal the sick. He said to them, take nothing for the journey, neither walking stick, nor sack, nor food, nor money. Don't even take a second tunic. Whatever house you enter, stay there. Leave from there. And for those who will not welcome you, when you leave that town, 
shake the dust from your feet in testimony against them. And he set out and went from village to village, proclaiming the good news and curing diseases everywhere. The Gospel of the Lord. A familiar but great gospel that Mother Church gives us today, and one that maybe should perplex us. Jesus says if they, if they won't listen, then go someplace else. Maybe I have better luck over there. What do you think he'd say, keep trying? Find a different approach. Come up with another lesson plan. Try something rather than just say, Phew, shake the dust off your feet and go something. It's kind of an unusual line when you think about it. Some people watching at home, and some people maybe in the building right now, are teachers. One thing you learn when you're a teacher, I'm not a teacher by trade, I teach a little bit, is that until the student is ready, the teacher is largely just spinning their wheels. When the student is ready to listen, then the teacher really appears. You can't, you can't force them to pay attention or be interested in algebra. They're always going to ask, when am I ever going to use algebra? And the answer is never. When the time comes that they're ready to listen, they'll, they'll be ready. You can't force the word of God on someone. You have to hope that God will work in that person and bring them to the point where they are willing and interested and anxious to listen to the word of God, take it in and put it into practice. You can't, I don't know how many people are watching this mass at home. I know the people here, many of us struggle. How come the kids don't want to go to church and hit them over the head with the Bible? Well, that doesn't work. Life will bring them around and God will use life to say, maybe this religion stuff is a lot more important than I realized. That has a way of happening. There's very few of us in the building right now under the, there's no one in the building right now under the age of 30. That person thinks it's about doing this and that. They'll eventually learn that life is about deeper issues. But that takes time. Bang your head against the wall, trying to make them listen, turns them off and leaves you with a sore head. Life will bring, God will bring them around. It has a way of working like that. For us, that requires great patience. In God, it requires great trust. Let us stand, my friends, and we'll offer our petitions to the Lord. Our response is, Lord, hear our prayer. For the church that we as baptized take up our role as a people who are called to attend to others, to be last and servant of all, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For world leaders that they prioritize action to protect the planet, making safe the climate, the water, and the biosphere for future generations, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the containment and eradication of the COVID-19 virus, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who ask us to pray for them, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, especially for Jack Schofield, for whom this Mass is being offered, may they be at peace with God, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God, we beg you to hear our prayers. Give us the courage always to evangelize, to bring others to you with love, patience, and compassion. We make all of our prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.
Pray, friends, that my sacrifice and yours be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. Receive with favor, Lord, we pray, the offerings of your people, that what we profess with devotion and faith may be ours through these heavenly mysteries. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just to give you thanks, Father most holy, for you are the one God, living and true, existing before all ages and abiding for all eternity, dwelling in unapproachable light. Yet you, who alone are good, source of life, have made all that is, so that you might fill your creatures with blessings and bring joy to many of them by the light, the glory of your light. And so in your presence with countless hosts of angels who serve you night and day, and gazing upon the glory of your face, glorify you without ceasing. With them, we too confess your name in exultation, praising you as we say, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Give you praise, Father most holy, for you are great, and you have fashioned all your works in wisdom and love. You formed us in your own image, and you trust the whole world to his care, so that in serving you alone, the Creator, he might have dominion over all creatures. And when through disobedience he had lost your friendship, you did not abandon him to the domain of death, for you came in mercy to the aid of all so that those who seek might find you. Time and again you offer them covenants, and through the prophets taught them to look forward to salvation. So you love the world, Father most holy, that in the fullness of time you sent your only begotten Son to be our Savior. Incarnate by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, he shared our human nature in all things but sin. To the poor he proclaimed the good news of salvation, to the prisoner freedom, and to the sorrowful of heart, joy. To accomplish your plan, he gave himself up to death. By rising from the dead, he destroyed death and restored life. And that we might live no longer for ourselves, but for him who died and rose again, he sent the Holy Spirit from you, Father, as the first fruits of those who believe, so that bringing perfection his work in this world, he might sanctify creation to the full. Therefore, Lord, we pray, may the same Spirit graciously sanctify these offerings, that they may become the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, for the celebration of this great mystery which he himself left us as an eternal covenant. For when the hour come for him to be glorified by you, Father most holy, and having loved his own who were in the world, he loved them to the end. And while at supper he took bread, blessed it, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper ended, taking the chalice, filled the fruit of the vine, he gave thanks and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, drink from it. This is the chalice of my blood, blood of a new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, Lord, as we now celebrate the memorial of our redemption, we remember Christ's death, his descent to the realm of the dead. We proclaim his resurrection and his ascension to your right hand. And as we await his coming in glory, we offer you his body and blood, the acceptable sacrifice, which brings salvation to the whole world. Look, O oh Lord, upon this sacrifice which you've provided for your church. And grant in your loving kindness to all who partake of the one bread and one chalice, 
that gathered into the one body by the Holy Spirit, they may become a living sacrifice in Christ for the praise of your glory. Therefore, Lord, remember now all for whom we offer this sacrifice, especially your servant, Francis, our Pope, Joseph, our bishop, the whole order of bishops, all the clergy, those who take part in this offering, those gathered here before you, your entire people, all who seek you with a sincere heart. Remember also those who have died in the peace of Christ and all the dead whose faith is known to you alone. To all of us, your children, grant, O mercy of a Father, that we may enter into a heavenly inheritance with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with your apostles and saints in your kingdom. There, with the whole of creation, freed from the corruption of sin and death, we shall glorify you through Christ our Lord, through whom we bestow on the world all that is good. Through him, with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, a glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. The Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from ever evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may always be free from sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, peace I leave you, peace I give you. Look not in our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. Who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. We share a sign of Christ's peace. Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy, you should enter under my roof. Only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. Graciously raise us up, O Lord, those you renew with your Eucharist, that we may come to possess your redemption, both in mystery and in manner of life. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the Lord be with you. Mighty God bless us and all of our families, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Our liturgy ends, we go in peace, glorifying God with our lives. Thanks be to God.